let's create a ci cd pipeline using github actions and ec2 machine so whenever i am pushing any change to a particular branch i want a docker image to be created docker image to be pushed to a docker repository and then my ec2 machine that is running the docker container should stop the existing docker container and start the new docker container with the new docker image so let's do it let's create a node.js backend uh, there is nothing to explain here although you can check my typing speed expose a slash endpoint with status as 200 and message as hello world and listen to port 8080 check if the server is running fine and then let's quickly dockerize our node.js application search for how to dockerize node.js application just copy paste this code into docker file git add all git commit with initial commit message and then push the changes to github repository create a github repository with the same name you can make it public or private that doesn't really matter push the changes to github repository go to docker actions here there are a bunch of actions that you can perform which github provides us so there is one action known as docker image where you can build a docker image and then push it to a repository that's exactly what we want so we can go and configure the docker image we want to run this workflow on pushing to a particular branch that is the main branch we want to run it on ubuntu latest and then we want to check out the code then we want to log into our docker hub account so that we can push the image you can log into your aws container registry also or you can log into docker hub also you can push your image anywhere we'll add the docker username and password from the secrets which github provides us Login using this docker hub username and password using docker login dash o username and password. Build your docker image using a name CICD pipeline that is our docker image name. Once it is built then we want to push the image to docker hub repository. Run this command docker push your username and then the image name with a latest tag. Add your github secrets, go to settings, go to secrets, add your docker of username and password. Login using your docker account. Create a new repository using the same name that you have created here. Let's add a dummy commit to test our CICD pipeline. So once you are pushing to the main branch, the pipeline will start. That is the GitHub workflow will start. As you can see, the GitHub workflow has started. Meanwhile, let us also create the CD pipeline. For that, we need a EC2 machine. Or in fact, you can use droplet or anything that you want. Create a EC2 instance, add your instance name. For image, you can use anything I'm using Ubuntu. Add a key pair name so that you can SSH to the machine. Enable the, your HTTP and HTTPS traffic and then launch your machine. As you can see, the CI pipeline is completed. We can check this in our Docker Hub account. Tag should have come. Let's connect to the instance. Now we need to add a GitHub runner. 
so whenever we are pushing the change we want it to run on our self hosted machine go to settings runner click on new runner before running this command first let's update and upgrade our ec2 machine copy this command one by one and paste it in your ec2 machine now start the run command in background now your runner should be completed let's check in github if our runner is attached so we can see our ip is attached to the runner let's quickly create the cd pipeline now we want to run our cd pipeline after the ci pipeline is completed for that we can add the workflow run so whenever the ci pipeline is completed only then we want to run the cd pipeline make sure the name of the ci pipeline is exactly same in the workflows so once this is completed all we want to do is pull the docker image from the docker hub then delete the old docker container run docker container with the latest image that we have pulled give the container a name so that we can remove it later just by the container name go to the machine then log in using your docker username and password for that you have to first install docker just copy these commands one by one to install docker in your ubuntu machine login using your docker username and password Let's do a dummy commit to test the entire CI CD pipeline. Git add git commit in your dummy commit. And then when you are pushing to the main branch, ideally first the CI pipeline should start. Once the CI pipeline is completed, then your CD pipeline should start. So this is the CI pipeline. It may take couple of minutes for it to complete. So now it is completed. Now the CD pipeline will start. Now your CD pipeline is completed. We can quickly check if the server is running on port eight zero eight zero or not. now we can install nginx for reverse proxy so that 
any request that is coming on port 80 that is the nginx port or the http port will be redirected to port 8080 first you need to find the docker container ip address Check your docker container id Add your docker container id here This is your docker container private ip address This is what you will be mapping in nginx sites available default config file Restart nginx server so that it picks the new config. Go to your EC2 machine, check the public IP address of the EC2 machine. So our website is live on port 80 that is the HTTP port. Now let's quickly check if we do a small change will it be deployed like will the CI CD pipeline completely deploy the new change. So just add the new change commit with the new change and then push to the main branch. So ideally this should start your CI pipeline then your CD pipeline and the new changes should be deployed. So our CD pipeline is also completed. On refreshing the page, we can see the new change. So thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked it, if you watched it till here, please do like, share and subscribe to my new channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.